Okay, hey, my name is Dimas, meet me again in Smart in 2 minutes. So today I want to discuss and talk about three fundamental things that usually I'm using or I'm doing in following the stock. I could just go back there and get it. No, no, no. It's all right. This one's on me. Oh, no, no, no. See, you don't understand. I, I... It's okay, buddy. We've all been there. Yeah, yes, but you see, I really did misplace my wallet. I know you did. And Bill here misplaced his Wall Street portfolio. <laughs> Specifically, if I do not really know uh, the latest news from the stock, for example, the trend that why some of or majority of people buying like for now in Indonesia we have to go to like Gojek and Tokopedia um, uh, 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 merger and and the stock is become amazingly amazingly uh, liquid but the price is always goes up and down in the same way like this IPO number so uh, three things that usually I'm using to to following them uh, is first the price to earning the formula is uh, you divide the amount of price by the amount of earning usually earning before tax uh, the second one is uh, price to book value so you know like in a, in a in the balance sheet there is always the amount of cash and the amount of asset that the company has and then the price divided by this number uh, so and the last one is price to sales so all the startup that going for IPO definitely they have some sales right it's not like a company that's still having like private equity and not making any money so basically they already have sales so these three uh, fundamental thing that usually I'm take a look taking a look price to earning price to book and price to sales so what's the then the threshold or the thumb of rules to know that if the stock is pretty good enough or not so uh, when it comes to price to earning so this definitely uh, there is no like rule of thumbs that price to earning by two or by zero point something is good the most important that you always need to see is how you compare it with the 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 the, the average of the same sector of the industry in the same market or country so for example price to earning so if the price to earning here is too high meaning that uh, the price is 15 times than the earning itself then you should start to get worry because meaning that the price uh, of the stock is somehow overvalued but if you see then the comparison with the industry is still lower for example in the industry sector in it usually price to earning going by 20 times then it's okay so first take a look whether it's uh, worth to take risk or not and see the comparison with the average of the market uh, the second one is price to book value so this is very tricky because sometimes because of the you know like high demand of the stock the price is going by two or three times than the book value itself when it goes by three or four or five you should be worried but once again uh, always see with the comparison on the market and the last one is price to sales this is the point that sales here is different with earning because sales basically like it's still the uh, the the income that the company has in and you don't really divide the sales based on what's the com component of the asset like it can come from the loan of the bank or it's come from the equity but definitely sales so if the sale is great so basically even though it's like letter the sales need to be you know subtracted by the amount of interest or from the loan or so on but if the amount is still good then it's fine so if the price to sell still like going by 20 or 30 times then you start to be worried but if the by two or by three or even by zero point something then the stock is still very very undervalued and it's worth you know to buy so these three fundamental things that usually i always take a look on uh, price quite interesting right okay so that's for now thank you very much and 
I'll see you in another video.